somebody just called me my agency in face. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, right? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. They just call me. We well, want to go to a TV show. I said, nah, no. Come on, just give it a try. You have friends there. I say, who? Like Mondo and Fabio. I said, wow, really? Why they do that? We just talk stories in Chinese. Said, nah, don't want that stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I don't want that stuff. I declined, I guess, that stuff because way before Pace called me, there was this uh, another girl that came to my coffee shop to talk about another TV show in Taiwan that's out foreigners too. You probably know the one I'm talking about. WTO. Yeah. Huh. And that was before Erfan Zichan. Yeah. And then she was talking to me about that. And that's okay, it sounds nice. But then when we came to the story, and they actually want me to talk something that I didn't want to talk. That's when I declined the whole TV yeah. show stuff. Yeah. You know, I still remember the story. I still remember the story. She said, well, yeah, let's talk about uh, how Brazilian people release uh, heat during the summer. Okay. And I say, we don't release heat. We love heat. We love summer. <laughs> we sweat. <laughs> That's how you yeah, really we see do. it. We sweat. Like yeah, everybody. Like, that. like everybody else. Like, We're not aliens. Yeah. Right, but she wants like some some funny stories. Say, I don't have funny stories. With this heat. We just go to the beach and drink a coconut juice. Right, you right. Know, that's how we release heat. I said, okay, let, let me think about something for you. Maybe you can say that you put like ice on your backpack and walk on the cemetery because oh cemetery it's empty and there's a lot right. of trees with shadows right. and you can stay under the shadow. Yeah. And I was like, think about this as a Brazilian saying that Brazilian people go to the cemetery and stay with a backpack full of ice under the shade. I was like, no way I'm going to say that. You know, it was so weird. The problem with Taiwanese TV shows is that they make up their minds about stories before they even talk to their guests. They have a direction they want to take. And then yeah. they want to invite not actors, but actual people to talk about similar stories. But what I would do is, what I do with my podcast, I invite you because I'm interested in you as a person. So I don't have a preset of what you have to say. I have questions I want to ask you, but you can answer in whatever way you feel comfortable with. I want to hear your side of the story. I want to hear your perspective. And I'm pretty sure that some of your stories are going to be funny or interesting, entertaining. I don't have to set shit up to make this interesting because you are interesting in a, as a person. But in Taiwan, TV shows are like, let's make it interesting, even if boring people are on the show. That's why when they have interesting people on the show, they limit them. You and I, we are interesting people. We don't need set up stories to be interesting. But they are so afraid of the show being boring that they try to push you in a, in a, in a corner of what they perceive as interesting. They should just let us ad lib. Let's just let us shoot from the hip, be ourselves, and they would have such mu so much better entertainment. And I hope part of the reason why, I'm, why I do this podcast is I want to show people that there's another way to entertain people, to tell stories from our perspective, more genuine, more, more natural, more um, using our own personalities, our own humor, that people will enjoy more than this cookie cutter TV show program. So that's just uh, like a, a, a for all the people who are not familiar with Taiwanese uh, talk shows. My yeah, no, but the problem for me, like the other problem for Taiwanese talk shows, is because compared to other countries, there's only Taiwan that you can make a living out of talk shows because there's right. so many talk shows right. in so many stations that you can actually become a Tongao ear. That's yeah. like. A profession that you just make money out of telling stories. Right. That doesn't work in any other country in the right. world. Yeah. And that's when I guess the reason why they do that is because of the pressure of the competition. Yeah. They have this budget and the pressure from the investors that they have to make the ratings go up right. every single episode and fight against the the competitor. Right. So yeah, I understand how we feel when we are kind of forced to talk about stuff that we don't want or, do, or not the way we want. Right. But as a, somebody that loves money, like me, like I like, like to make money, on the investor side, I understand how they 
have this kind of yeah, leave the pressure. Of course, and they're also to very reluctant to, make... to try new things because they don't want to take a gamble on a new idea when True. something else is already True. kind of working on TV, even though it's not performing That's, super yeah. well. But it's they they're it's surviving. Safe. Basically, they're not yeah. thriving; they're surviving. But for how True. long? We don't know. 